the internet. So I'm just going to do a showcase for these characters. So the first character that I'm going to do is Yao Winter Solstice. So currently I don't have a weapon, I just got the free to play 5 star weapon Olympus from I think from like day one there was a event that if you like started from day one you get the weapon I'm not sure if it's still available or not so it's not the best weapon because this is frost and Yao uses thermo so logistics I'm just using the recommended logistic nothing too fancy so I'm just using the the Amano Iwato squad so I'm just using that and I just showed you my weapon but the best weapon for Yao is Space Cowboy so that's a reference to the movie. Now my Yao is M6 so she's got all her manifestations maxed. So manifestation if you're coming from Genshin Impact it is constellations so she's fully maxed from free to play and it's really easy to get manifestations in the game because you can just get them for free. So, Neuronics is like your talent, so those are maxed as well. Okay, so before we do the showcase, I'll show you the stats. So, got crit rate, crit damage, thermo damage for that piece. Got HP percent, crit damage, thermo. And then crit rate, energy recharge, and thermo. So the logistics or artifacts are pretty good they're not like super S tier but like they're good enough and just before we begin so you can get like your extra manifestation or constellation pieces from this um, I don't know what this is uh, personnel file so once a day you can just get some shards so that's cool alright so we're just going to do, I guess, um, the hard mode for Back the Labyrinth. Serious. So I'm just using two characters. And they're both Yao because it is a Yao showcase. So this is probably going to take me about 15 minutes. So I'll try and talk for 15 minutes. Get serious. And we'll show you what her skills are. So... We're only showcasing the five star Yao. I've got the four star in the this back, is possible, folks. but it's not her video. All right. So consumes energy. Yeah, that works with Yao. All right. So ideally we want to fight, I guess enemies that are easy to snipe. So I'm just going to go for all the easy ones. I'm going to avoid um, this dude and I'm going to avoid drums. So grenade and SMG seems to be the best play. So Yao is obviously a sniper. This seems dangerous. All right. So we're going to use her skill. So her skill just adds damage. You're not going to like this. And yeah. So, she actually does more damage with her regular bullet rather than her um, E skill. So, the reason why that is the case is because it's not thermo damage. So, the damage I'm dealing right now is frost. That's why That's I do for. less damage when I use my E skill. Normally, the E skill actually Don't does more damage if you have thermo so if you have a thermo weapon like the space cowboy then you do more damage so that's her E skill so 
her support skill. So this is her support skill. It summons a fire rod and it stuns the enemies like that by, I guess, pushing them up into the air. So even though this is on hard mode, it's like it's doable. Don't waste a shot. That's what they pay us for. Okay. So quick scoping is definitely good. Now, in terms of, I think which console to play, either mobile or PC. So if you're playing Snowbreak, definitely play on PC. And especially with snipers, it's definitely recommended that you play on PC. But it's doable. It just means you got to do Better the claw serious. grip on mobile. Like your fingers will be on fire oh, on work. mobile, just because you got to press so many um, options. Okay. So bad matchup. So these guys have armor, which is all right for Yao. But at the same time, because they're so tanky and they can get close to me, it's not a good matchup. Still beatable, but yeah, I mean, really Yao is a long range sniper. She's not a close range attacker. All right, so a knife dude. So that's probably not a good matchup. So a sniper and a trapper, not a good matchup. So we'll go for the medium, a grenade and assault rifle enemies. So pick and choose your battles. Um, have some strategy. So the reason why I'm just using double sniper, Better get serious. one, because it is a Yao showcase, two, because I want to get the achievement. Alright, so we've shown Quickly as possible, folks. the E skill and support skill. So I guess now I can show you the I am reborn. ultimate. warmer for you so the ultimate does deal a lot more damage That's what they pay us for so I can nearly one shot the enemy which is great that's why she's a powerhouse so she's the second best DPS in the game and the best free-to-play DPS and the reason why is because she can one shot with her ultimate, provided that you can hit You're the hit shot. Going to like this. See if you That's miss the hit shot, you don't get the one hit. So if you combine your E skill, which powers up your shots with your Supplies. ultimate you can so I think at manifestation 2 you can have unlimited bullets That's what they pay us for. I missed my shot Winter warmer for you so that is one thing about having close range enemies it's harder to I guess aim when they're close you would think it, it would be easier but no supplies if things keep going like this we All should right. be out of here on the dot so that is that alright both electrical buffs not really helpful uh, 
I guess we'll just do the blue one. Alright. So, shop or free buff? I think we'll go for free buff. Just because we are low on points. Better okay. Get serious. So, that is Yao in a nutshell. Her job is long range, so she's not really good at close range. Okay, however, she is good against ice enemies, so let's go with ice enemies. You're a nut. Going to like this. Alright, cool. Better get serious. So always more work. I forgot the ultimate. Um, only lasts for a certain amount of time, so it's not great. Supplies. I should have chose the other enemy, actually. But that's okay. Gives us a little bit of a challenge, I suppose. That's what they pay us for. So, oh yeah, so she's ha she has a passive. Which is, the further away she is from the enemy, the more damage she does, which is great. That's what a sniper should do. So, as you can see, these guys are coming close. I'll do less damage. Also, when they come in close, it's harder to aim. Supplies. Okay. And dogs are also difficult as well. Just because they jump everywhere. Okay. Now, we're going to use an ultimate point We're range. Going to like this. Just because... Way too close, and I can't aim. All right, so that's just me whiffing a shot. All right. If things keep going like this. We should okay, be out of so the you definitely do need to have some mechanical skill and be able to aim. So I would say Yao is probably not beginner friendly. She's probably bitter for players that are more used to aim down sight. So ADS is when you scope in. So that's what ADS means, aim down sight. So if you are a player that enjoys being patient and take your time to serious. aim, then Yao is your character. If you prefer fast action, I would say go for shotgun or assault rifle. Okay, none of these seem good. So drone and invisible guy, nope. Trapper and missile guy, nope. I guess we'll go for trapper and SMG. That seems to be the weakest one. All right. This seems dangerous. This could be a problem. It's a bad map. All right. You get a per diem? I should think so. One shot, one kill. We try. That's what they pay us for. Oh no. Okay, so we got a trap grenader. Don't like these guys. Basically, you gotta get out of that trap before he launches the grenade at you. I should talk to your union. Press for better work supplies. Because if the grenade lands, you will get hurt so badly. All right, uh, control. Nope. Sure, we'll go for this one. And we'll buy something now. Alright. 
I don't know why they have cover in the game. I mean, it's Better nice to serious. have, but like you can use this cover mode, but I don't think it's necessary to be honest. Because if they're shooting you from like from the sides, it all you have to do is just stand behind, and that does the same thing. I mean, maybe they'll improve it in the future. So it seems like. We got a boss to fight. That's good. Maybe. Decrease fire rate, but increase 20% more damage. Okay, well, we will buy that one. Hold on. Final damage by 20%. Nope, that one's not good. Invo Let's see. Skill vulnerability. Nope, that one's not good. So I think this one's good. Right, I can buy something else, but skill damage not really that good. Foot below eighty percent, sure we'll get it. Why not? Okay, so which? All right, we're gonna avoid this one because I don't have enough DPS to fight it because it's a shield boss. So, oh wait, I can choose non-boss? Non um, that's actually kind of annoying though, so, missiles, missiles are bad. Ooh, it's in between these, it's a tough decision. A non-boss is probably easier. Yeah. Two bosses, I'll probably just avoid them for now. Alright. Playing it safe. Get serious. Supplies. Yikes, they hurt so much. Okay, so. I better take it seriously then. Didn't realize they actually hurt so much. That's what they pay us for. Okay. Ah, great. Missile. You're a nut. Going to like this. They pay us for. Great. Just great. Okay. For DM? I should think so. Cool. I should talk to your union. Winter warmer for you. 250k. So whatever the buffs I'm getting keep going like seems this. to be really cool. Be out of here on the dot. They are really buffing up uh, Yao. So you should definitely pick buffs that complement Yao while sprinting restore HP. Each hit increases defense. Uh, We'll go for survivability. Why not? Um, we'll go for free wards. Okay. This seems dangerous. All right. Cool. Labyrinth key. That's always nice. Okay. Drones and missiles. And okay. We'll pick the middle one. That seems to be easiest. All right. Now, better get serious. I think Yao is also better in, I guess, one-on-ones. She's not really good against like a group of mobs. Just because she can only fire one shot and this 
and the shot is kind of slow. So, better for one on ones. why we don't like the grenader. He traps you and he can do a whole lot of damage. Also those traps hurt a lot. Did he just try to stomp on me? Dang. You should talk to your union. Press for better working conditions. Okay. So when HP is 50%, increase all skill damage, that doesn't help. Thermo damage, yes, that helps. All right, what do we got? Nothing good. So double tank or grenade dudes and sniper. We'll try the grenade dude again because tanks are harder to take out. So while I say that, Yao is actually a tank buster but this only dangerous. in her ultimate form. You're not going to like this. So when you're fighting the enemy sniper, just blow up their gas tank. And yeah, as you can see, Yao's weakness is that when Don't an enemy gets too shot. close, it's hard to um, aim, but that's more of a skill issue. But her damage is decreased when enemies get close. Great. Just great. So that kind of is also a thing. Supplies. We get a per diem. I should think so. All right. Just gotta dodge those grenades. Take one out at a time. That's just me being bad at aiming. For. Get a per diem? I should think so. Okay. It's not that bad. You should talk to your union. Press for better working conditions. But I think that's just more of a experience thing. Like once you fight these guys enough times, you understand the pattern. Okay, knockback skill haste. We'll go for stun. Stun knockback is way better. And we'll go for shop. So yeah, I'm just commentating on everything just because just so I can have dangerous. some I guess commentary and so the video isn't all dead air. Okay, so wind dealing damage, pierce damage, frostbite, wind damage against shields that seems to be the best one okay cool who are we up against now sniper shield we'll go for the grenade one that seems to be all right i didn't like them at first but i think i figured out their pattern now this seems dangerous all right always more work oh drones So for the drones, well, you gotta take out the machine gun. Okay, break. Don't waste a shot. So I don't like drones just because they are hard to hit. Like they're in the air. And 
and when things are above, it's always hard to hit. Alright, cool. That was a knockback, which was great. It's good for stunning targets. Okay. We get a per diem? I should think so. So stunning targets is good, but at the same time, waiting for them to get back up is probably better. So you can snipe them. I mean, you can shoot them, but if it's not in the headshot, then your union. Press for better working conditions. Then, like, you only do half the damage. So that's what they pay us for. Being a sniper, it's your job to hit the headshot. So maybe having the knockback wasn't a good idea. But I think overall, having a stun, like one second knockback is definitely useful so it gives you some distance and it gives you some breathing room as well but the downside is you got to wait that second so when you're timed maybe having that one second stun isn't a good idea but it depends on the situation better get serious all right, double tank boss, great. Take out the little guy first. I say little. Okay. You talk to your union. Ask right, for cool. better working conditions. You're a nut. Going to like this. Okay. This is probably the easier boss. That shot. You're a nut. Going to like this. I was trying to predict where he was going to land. All right, armor broken. Cool. Good shot. Cool. Now the hard part begins. You're He's much faster now. Like this. You got a per diem? I should think so. for you. Yikes. I assume that qualifies us for hazard pay. All right. And that is the game mode. So at the end I did have to concentrate a little bit and I wasn't really talking over it just because he was quite difficult. It was hard mode. So that is my Yao showcase and cool got the achievements. Nice. I feel like Yao is more suited for long-range combat 
she is the highest free to play damage dealer DPS now the best in the game for limited is Katia but for free to play Yao's pretty good so that's my M6 showcase of Yao Winter Solstice I know the weapon isn't her weapon but even just showcasing Yao without her signature weapon she can do a lot of damage like 250k and yeah I mean if you enjoy the long range sniper type of playstyle then Yao Winter Solstice is for you you can wish for her on the standard banner so you can also select your 5 star character so if you lose the 50-50 you get a guaranteed of your 5 star character that you can select so my one selected right now is uh, Wild Hunt but you can select whatever character you want so you can select Yao if you want to okay so thanks for watching hope you had a great day be sure to like subscribe share with your friends ring the bell turn on all notifications leave a comment below if you play Yao Winter Solstice become a member if you want to drop a super thanks if you want to until next time see ya